Welcome back to our channel, everyone. You're watching Rubiego, and this is Nairobi. So my friend, she knew me before I had Zuri, obviously. She has not been in Kenya to see her family for like eight years. Yeah, it was really nice to see her. And she very generously brought us a bunch of stuff that we forgot. And so we ordered it to her apartment in Colorado. We met her at CJ's Imara Mall. I really like Imara Mall. It has a really nice aesthetic. I really like the colors. I really like the way they did the lighting. Oh, and the place where I went to like take the picture with the flowers. That was really, really nice. I wanted to check out and see what's the whole fuss about like Two Rivers Mall. So we just got to Two Rivers Mall, which, which is the biggest mall in Kenya. Africa. All of Africa? Wow. We're underneath the mall right now. It's like a small city over here. It really feels like a small city. There's dry cleaning. There's a car wash over here. And we're not even in the main mall yet. Okay, so I just saw this and this sparked a memory. Growing up, my dad used to send us, or I would go with him to the posta so we could collect mail. People in the US, you have the luxury that your mail just gets dropped at your house. But here, you have to go somewhere, here, and then you come open, everybody has their own keys, and you open and you get your mail. So that's that just reminded me of my childhood. Really gloomy outside. Yep, we are making the most of the fact that the weather is terrible, so it's a mall day. Like they hop in the water. I think it's like the Survivor Games. This is the first time I've ever seen an Apple reseller. I know some people have iPhones, but they're not that common here because they're extra expensive. And I've never seen anywhere to buy one until here. Mr. P has a home. Let's go check out Mr. P home. In the US at the mall, we have Victoria's Secret. Over here, there's Victoria Carpet. Can I be a Victoria Carpet model, please? Absolutely. <laughs> oh, sorry, laughed at me? Hello. We just finished a really nice afternoon of walking around this mall, so I feel good. We made great use of this terrible weather. Yes, we did. We saw the biggest mall, apparently, in the continent. I got some cardio because I've been lugging this around. So 
we had a good day at the mall. We did. Yeah? You had a good oh day too, Susan? So we had a great day too. Yeah. And then we had, we had dinner, and now we're trying to go home now. Yep, we're going to just walk to the main entrance, get in an Uber, Uber. and go home. Even though you haven't seen any content on our YouTube channel yet, Nairobi is both where we started our trip and where we've been operating out of since the beginning of May. So in Nairobi, we're staying in a very small studio apartment. It's cute. It has everything we need. We have laundry, we have a shower, uh, we have a kitchen, we have a bed. I mean, what, what else do you really need? We have a place to keep our stuff and a, and a safe place to, to stay and to rest. So it's perfect. It's everything we need. And right now, as we're shooting this video, we're shooting it at our studio apartment. Yes, this is the couch in our studio and it is our studio studio. It is our studio apartment and it is our film studio. And if I just stretch my legs like this. That's I... the other side. That's already the door. That's the end. <laughs> and it's in a very safe gated area. 24 hour security. The parking lot is super well lit. And we'll give you the details for our host because he's been absolutely wonderful and Amazing. super accommodating, very, very nice. And this has been a great place to stay. It was very reasonably priced and it had everything we needed. So if you need a place to stay in Nairobi for a couple nights or a month, like what we did, this is a great option. So where we're staying is actually very close to the Junction Mall. So we have not left the house today. We're gonna go to the Junction Mall to just take a nice walk. Since it's late, we'll just walk there and then coming back, we'll take an Uber. Top of the mountain. It didn't take us that long to get there, so it's actually really nice out right now. It's a very pleasant walk. The airflow in our apartment isn't the best, so it gets very stuffy. Tonight, the air is just really nice. It's a great temperature. Everyone is yelling at us because we're freezing our child. Again, it's like 65. Put a cap on him. <laughs> it's like 70, 65, 70 degrees. Everyone is telling us we're abusing our child because we're freezing him. So on this day, we had amazing weather. It was actually really nice outside. And we wanted to go see the auto show that was being advertised. I'm a big time car person and Diana saw that and we were looking for stuff to do. And so she suggested that we go there, which I was all in for. So we went to this place, it was called Village Market. And I didn't really know what to expect because I'm noticing, you know, with malls in Kenya, you just, you don't know what you're gonna get. So we get to this place and the second we walked in, I was just blown away. Village Market feels really pleasant. It feels really upscale, but it's also just oozing character. It has so, like, it's such a nice vibe and it's so... Like you have trees inside a mall. Yeah, it feels like it, it's an indoor, yes. outdoor mall. It's just such a pleasant That's environment such and even if you don't intend to buy anything, it's such a nice place to walk around. And it's so big. We went to Village Market twice. The first time we explored one side of the food court. And the second time, at night, we randomly realized there's a second food court. There's a whole other food court. Yeah, we saw this great 
food court outside and we were like, wow, this is really pleasant. We found yeah. a whole nother one that's inside. And we went there at night. So apparently at night, it's like a small place that turns into a small club. Yeah, Village Market is amazing during the day and it's amazing at night. And if we lived in Nairobi, I'd want to be close to there because I just want to walk around there all the time. It's yeah. so relaxing. familiar? It looks pretty familiar. Huh. Hi, Kakla in Kenya. Look, it's our pots and pans. Yeah, it's exact pots and That's pans. our kitchen. This is the couch we almost bought. It's not a place that I've ever thought of coming, but since we just accidentally found ourselves here, I feel like this mall is the mall. So nice. I really, really enjoy it. It's way better than Two Rivers Mall, which there was a lot of hype about. It just has this feeling. It's like you're outside and also you're inside. We come to a restaurant and I take a little bit of my avocado and my spinach, and then I take Aitan's potato puree. And we're making Zuria meal. We have done some really cool stuff. We've seen some cool people, and now we're just walking around. Now we are gonna make our way out. I have a couple of other places I want us to see before we leave here, but we have had such an incredible time here today. And now it's another day. Yes, we've been jumping all over the place. Please let us know what you think of this format because we're trying something new with this video and we're very curious to hear your feedback so please leave a comment. Today we are going to get Diana's passport renewed. We are outside the Nyayo house. We're trying to get to see if I can, my passport is ready to be taken. It better be, we came all the way here. Zuri, are you going to make sure it's ready? While Diana waited for her passport, Zuri was getting restless, so I took him for a walk, my first solo walk in Nairobi. And we decided to walk to a solid place that I know we can always count on, CJ's. And as it just so turned out, we had the same waitress who also worked at the Imara Mall CJ's. And after the passport mission was unsuccessful, look who joined us. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.
I'm in charge of marketing and sales at okay. Sairaj and we do a lot of brands under Sairaj, Iron Man being one of them. Yes. We have another one called Alu Cab. So I'll give you a bit of background about Sairaj. We've been in the industry for about 40 years and uh, our main work was fiberglass. We still do a lot of fiberglass works. We got into this 4x4 industry because a lot of our customers are similar customers. So we do refrigerated bodies, we make uh, insulated bodies and we've partnered up with Thermoking. So we do all those locally over here. And you're really kind of like a one-stop shop for any kind of uh, any kind of customer modification. Hundred percent. So you, yeah, do, yeah, yeah. you do the off-road stuff. You do the like trade-specific stuff. Yes. Yes. And yeah. you do this this alu cab, which is yeah. looks like really nice. Like we have a uh, we have some companies in the U.S. like Decked make this kind of system for pickup trucks. We want to be able to spend more and more time here. Part of that is going to be getting a vehicle and continuing to do what we love to do, which is travel all over the place yeah, and, yeah. and make content and explore. This is something we're very interested in. We love doing our version of it back home with our right. with our travel trailer. Yes. Um, but over here, we have so much more exploring that we want to 100%. do. There's so many parts we want to see. 100%. So you see, like you said, the Kenyan market is very vibrant and there's so many places you can take and you can go to. I think after COVID, people really wanted to go out yes. and go and experience nature and all that stuff. So we, be, we I find myself very fortunate to to be in a country in, in a in a company where we we sell things that we're passionate about as well yes so we not not only just sell but we get to experience the products as well absolutely yeah, yeah. so we do a lot of camping we go out to different places we recently went to lake ellis and uh, we camp there it's right next to mount kenya yeah so it's it's an amazing setup and when you have like you know a whole setup like this it makes camping a lot more enjoyable when you go with children you know it's it's a lot more fun to do this and you cannot make this stuff correctly unless you care. 100%. So yeah. it's really, and that really comes through in, in the type of products, the way everything goes together as yeah. well as it does. Yeah. And, and in, even in the presentation, you have an absolutely beautiful display. Thank here. you so much. Really? We actually won the best stand award. I so... believe it. I believe it. <laughs> we got the best stand award. And uh, like you mentioned, everything here that we work with are top class products. You know, because like I mentioned, we've been in this for 40 years. So whatever we bring has to be at that benchmark as well. Absolutely. So whatever we have is a bolt-on system, user-friendly. You don't have to be a very pro camper to know these products. You can, it's, some, it's something simple. Even if you're a beginner, it's so easy to get the hang of these products. Even he can do it. Even he can do it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very easy to set up. You can set up these things in like minutes. And you know, all the products, like I said, cater for all ages. You don't have to, even if you have a child, you know, it's so easy to, to set up like this, more convenient. Very safe, very safe, yeah. Sairaj and this is uh, Iron Man 4x4 and Alucab, Alucab, two of their product lines.